Hello everyone, welcome to the next installment of Veracut Tech Tips. Today we will be going over file summaries, revving up projects, and leaving revision comments. We are first going to open up a project that I'm planning on making new revisions on, on the machine control and project itself. Don't forget you can drag and drop your .vc project into an already open Veracut session. Once the file opens up that we plan to make edits to, we can go to File, File Summary, and we'll notice in here we can create a zip file or a directory. Right now we're going to go ahead and choose directory and we're going to copy the files. Now we're going to go ahead and find the directory that we are planning on saving to. So I'm going to create a revision one, save in here. OK, and we'll see it successfully copied. From there, we can go ahead and find that directory, and we'll do a, a drag and drop again. We're just going to be working on this revision 1. Wait for it to open for just a moment, and we'll go ahead and start making some edits in here. In here, we can go ahead and go to Configuration, Properties, and you'll notice this Message tab. We can go ahead and create a new revision message that will pop up in our logger window. Select OK machine and control, machine settings, and we have a similar option under machine notes. We can go ahead and leave our revision message and select OK. And then lastly, we're going to go into the control advanced options, control notes, and we do have three different sections of control types. We have our custom, add-on, and base. And once again, we're just going to leave a new revision message. Once again, these will pop up in the logger window. I'm going to save it, and we'll go ahead and create a new file summary. And I'm going to do a zip file just to show the difference of the two. And if you ever send anything into support, you'll have to do the same. You'll be creating a zip file for that format as well. And we can see it is a zipped file now. We're going to extract it open up our new files, and we'll take a look at basically the new comments that will show up in the logger message. We now see we have revision one for both the machine control and the project itself. Keep in mind, you can leave whatever comments that you would like. If you decide to rev it up again, we can go in here to the machine, update it, and resave. Lastly, We'll get this ready for sending into support or saving on your own directory. So we're doing a zip file. Right now I'll just say we're saving this in a support folder. Save it. And done. Thank you everyone for tuning in and have a great day. We'll see you next time.